I got a sourdough tutorial on my um, YouTubes, which I only uploaded recently, even though I filmed it back in June. But um, I like to try new things, and I've seen Rachel, my mate Rachel, doing her Bake With Jack sourdough, and I thought I'd give that um, process a whirl. Sort of changing things around a bit, it makes you fall in love with it all over again. So, um, I'm going to see if I prefer this way to the old way. Hmm, right then. I nearly always have a problem with it sticking. It's bloody stuck, in it? Absolute turd. I would I thought I would try cooking it on the pizza stone I've just flipped it over because it is look it was looking definitely done and the bottom is really wet and doughy so I'm not gonna do it on a pizza stone again well it's not turned out too bad in fact it's much smaller than my usual loaf but it feels sort of more crispy crunchy looks nice Got these nice little blisters on. Um, it's a good shape, and um, well, we'll see about the taste. I'm gonna have to take some of my starter and tweak it into Bake by Jack's starter just by feeding it with rye, whole wheat rye flour. I usually use plain white bread flour, so um, we'll see how it goes. It's good to experiment. I was just talking to my friend Julie, who is here doing the wallpapering in Ted's bedroom. Sorry, I look a bit wild and woolly. Um, she's doing the wallpapering in Ted's bedroom, and she said that, um, as I was telling her what you do, like, wait, you do this, and then you do that, and you leave it for two hours, and then you've got to fold it this way, and you leave it for an hour, blah, blah. and she was like, oh, I'm lost already, I'm confused. So I said to her, if you want to do it, follow my sourdough tutorial, because... Um, that's much more simple. It's very, <coughs> hair in my mouth. It's very repetitive. So you, you just have to do things, same thing once every hour for four hours. Right, I'm going up the stairs because Judy needs a hand and I'm going to paint a shelf. I'm trying to lock the baby gate. Stop bunny coming up and piddling on my bed. A little shadow. And as we crawl through the mess and the chaos in the undergrowth, that is the Ballard's upstairs house. We find over here, wearing our overalls, looking like one of the Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye bye, mural. Wow, look at the colour of that. Is that so you can see, see where? You... Yeah, like, we all need that, don't we? I wish Foundation did that. Yeah. Because then you wouldn't you get wouldn't that. Get that whole the tide line. With a tide line, yeah. True, here you are. I'm going to invent that. I invented an app once in my head where you, um, I'll just spin the I once invented an app where you, scanned the barcode of your, all of your cookery books and then if you wanted a specific recipe you would put the search in and it would say right it's in Nigella Lawson feast um, so page 86 and it's also in Jamie Oliver Italian page 109 and I thought what brilliant idea and then I didn't do anything about it. And recently, I think I've seen an app that does exactly that. So I need to look it up. Because otherwise, you end up doing random recipes off the internet all the time. And you don't get to use your lovely cookbooks. So that, and yesterday, 
when I was looking up um, sauce for chicken pie that I'd done before that was delicious and the kids had eaten it. And I had to go through four cookbooks so I could find it. Oh, that's looking good, isn't it, Jo? Already, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it looking oh, good? You're good at this. <sighs> it's not finished yet. You are good at it, though. <laughs> She's got all the gear and oh, yeah. all the idea. You're a really good friend to me. Likewise. Uh, I think I get the better deal. No. I do. No. Do you know what? On camera, it actually looks real. It's pretty um, realistic. So isn't it? cool, yeah. I almost want to do the whole room. <laughs> How cool would that look? It would just look like the whole room was, really was cool. stone. That is so cool. Maybe that all as well. Nah, it'd be a bit, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. Are you up for it? <laughs> don't worry, I won't put you through it. Look at that. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> you make it look really easy as well. Well, this pattern is easy, to I don't know about that. So good. Where was it from? Home base. Yeah. I copied Julie. Julie got some of this for her um, chimney at home. And uh, yeah, I'm just for doing a close up. And um, I said, oh, I like that. If you're passing home base and going in, get some will we aren't. She did. Lovely chubby. It's a bit of a quagmire, but there's blue sky and it's that beautiful colour blue. I get quite a few messages about how green everywhere is still, considering we're in the thick of winter. Well, I've just coming out into spring now and um, we're really lucky. My friend Emily lives in Utah and she said winter is very different for them. But um, for us, it's always like this. We're always, always beautiful and green. We are lucky, these green and pleasant pastures. I'm up at the Mall and I'm in Holland and Barrett. Holland and Barrett. I don't know why I said it like that. And look, loads of stuff. Pumpkin seeds, almonds. Apricots, mango, go go goji berries. And they've, they're out of quite a few bits, but this is really good. Grab a paper bag. Since I'm up at the mall and I'm feeling bold and don't really care who's looking at me today, I'm coming into Lush to check out their lipsticks, their refill lipstick. Hello! didn't have any they said because they want to be fully inclusive if they can't don't have space to stock the entire range then they won't stock any of it so I'll have to go online <laughs> so I finished up at the mall and now I've just been to an actual bank, a real life bank on the real life high street. It's paying some real life money into Bill's school account. So feels so good doing that. Absolutely, I keep holding it down there. I need a, I need a, a one of those wobbly wands that you put your camera on. I just caught sight of myself. I look exhausted. I've got a whacking great big ulcer on my throat. It's really sore. Now I'm going in the post office. This is what an English post office looks like. This is a big one though. Not your tiny little um, village post office. Look, you've got to serve yourself, Jobby, there. And on my many pit stops, um, day out and afternoon out, just been to the library to pick up my reserved books and um, 
I'm a day late for picking them up, so they've all been sent back. <laughs> Ooh. I've been to the supermarket, and now I'm going to drop off some stuff at the charity shop. Oh, this door's shut. That's odd. Then I'm going to the zero waste shop. Yeah? I do the pouring. Okay, Mum? 